After waiting for two hours and now getting two minutes, I'll get right to the point. Uh, this board is pretending that for the last three months, your emperor, Dr. Levin, has not been against a mask declaration. Now, all of a sudden, we're pretending that masks are everything, even forcing speakers to use masks. I would like the board to take a position. Was Dr. Levin wrong for those three months? And if he was this wrong, why has he not been removed? Why has he not been fired for being so catastrophically wrong? Or do you not really believe he was wrong? You're just wearing these masks because it is a signal of your great virtue. Because for the last three months, we have not worn them. And Convertura County has done outstandingly well and continues to do outstandingly well because we are not Los Angeles. We are not New York City. We never were going to be any of those things. Ironically, this is one of the few things Dr. Levin was actually right about. He has been wrong about everything. He is the one who told us we would have four to 600 hospitalizations a day. He, he, he revised that to two to 400 a day. We still haven't reached that in one day. We're barely over 200 for the entire ordeal that you guys have put us through. We now have panicked over 51 total hospitalizations in a county with eight hospitals. Can you people do math? Can you please do basic math and understand where we are on this? This is not a crisis. You, however, have created one. You, in an effort to try to prevent all death, when we've had 43 deaths, have now ended all relevant life. And you should all be ashamed of yourselves. And this will never be forgotten, ever be forgotten. You will all be held accountable eventually, in this life or the next. You all better hope there is no hell, because when you die, that's where you're going. And guess what? You're not going to be dying of COVID either. Thank you. In a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. In America today, there's a growing divide between many of our politicians and the people they lead, between average, everyday citizens and the ruling elite. We feel it in the one-sided laws being passed, with our leaders making rules for us and separate rules for them. For example, exempting themselves from wearing masks while imposing them on the rest of us. And even though our leaders have been wrong about this pandemic time and time again, wrong consistently about every aspect and have destroyed countless lives in the process, there are no consequences for them. People like Dr. Anthony Fauci, supposed experts who should know better, have been consistently wrong every step of the way. And yet his word is still treated like gospel. There's no reason to be walking around with a mask. Our lives, our livelihoods cannot be turned off and on like a switch. We can't put everything on hold whenever a politician goes on TV and makes some wild new claim about the coronavirus, which inevitably ends up being wrong. Left-wing governors and mayors who are bankrupting the rest of America are still getting their haircuts, still traveling out of state with their families to go on vacations, still have their health care. And like California Governor Gavin Newsom, while many Californians can't pay their rent thanks to his lockdowns, he's still buying multi-million dollar mansions and keeping his winery open when he forces all the rest of them to close down. These shutdowns aren't affecting them. They don't care. Americans have had enough, and they're making their voices heard, loud and clear. And those responsible for these injustices must be held accountable. John Ziegler is just such an American who's fed up. And in June, he told the Ventura County Board of Supervisors exactly how the rest of America is feeling. 